Congress was not consulted on the U.S. strike that killed Iranian general. What do you think about this resolution that passed? Do you believe that President Trump did the right thing by keeping his mouth shut? Well, there's, there, I think there's three issues here, Jermaine. The first of which is the President of the United States, whoever it is, does not need to consult Congress about an action like what Trump took mm -hmm. because it's considered prevention of imminent harm to Americans or America. Um, presidents going back a hundred years have all taken actions like that. War powers has to do with consulting Congress before declaring war that will be extended and intensive. So Chris Murphy, for example, the Democrat from Connecticut, slammed Trump for not getting approval, as did other members of Congress, and they voted for this War Powers Resolution. It's non-binding. It means nothing. It's for optics, as if to suggest what Trump did was wrong, mm -hmm. even though I believe it's Article 2 of the Constitution, which they can't overrule, gives the president that right. Now, were the president to declare war on Iran, he would need congressional approval for that. Now, having said all of this, it's really interesting, with the exception of Bernie Sanders as an example, even the Democrats could not say anything good about Soleimani. Mm -hmm. What they were worried about, Elizabeth Warren, Chris Murphy, uh, Sanders, Biden, and so on, that it would escalate. Well, the opposite has happened. Iran has backed down, they're scared to death, and they've got tens of thousands of demonstrators in the streets of Tehran protesting against the regime for what the regime did in response, which was slaughtering everybody on a Ukrainian jet the other day. Uh, originally, they said it was not them. Then they said it was mechanical failure. Then they said they opened the black box and read it in the black box. And then Boeing came out and said, that's impossible. You can't open it. You don't know how and you don't know how to read the data. And then finally, a video came out showing the missile coming up from the ground that destroyed the jet. And Iran last night said, oh, you're right. We blew it up. It was a mistake, but it's Trump's fault. Absolute insanity and hopefully the rest of the world unites against them on this issue, including the Congress. I might say one other item that caught them in their lie. I did the research and did a show earlier this week with this subject matter. Uh, a jumbo jet taking off uh, is going between 170 and 200 miles an hour. Very, very slow, very, very large, going straight up. 200 miles an hour. Mm. An incoming missile which Iran says they thought this was a missile, is coming straight down at 11,000 miles an hour and is a couple feet wide and 25 feet long and is as much looking like a jumbo jet as you and I look like a jumbo jet. So they blew it up on purpose. Somebody made the decision. I can't imagine some schmo in an anti-missile um, missile battery next to the Tehran airport deciding on his own. I'm sure this went up the chain of command and somebody higher up made a decision to slaughter these Canadians, Ukrainians, and Iranians that were on this jet. I hope that people like Chris Murphy and Elizabeth Warren, I have no hope for Ilhan Omar, will come out and say, you're right, we should have killed the bad guy, and the war powers have to do with the declaration of war, and what Trump did was fine. That's what I hope happens in a moment of sanity coming out of our Congress. In your mind, what does this uh, mean for the layman, the lame person when when they hear uh, her make a statement like this. Now, I, I know think, that she doesn't want, you know, uh, him to make these moves without 
consulting her, but what, what, what's behind, what's the motivation behind this? I, I think, and, and I say I think because a lot of what she says is literally indecipherable. You know, mm-hmm. it depends whether um, she had her medicine or too many drinks in the afternoon, according <laughs> to many pundits. I don't have any personal knowledge, but they say all the time she has three drink lunches oh, and then yeah. goes to the podium and you can't understand what she means. This is kind of like that kind of statement because it's not law nor is it procedure ever for the president to consult with Congress before a move like this. Barack Obama didn't do it. Bush didn't do it. Clinton didn't do it. Carter didn't do it. Reagan didn't do it. None of them did. They tell Congress afterwards in a briefing, which is what happened. So I'm guessing, it's just a guess, that she's saying this as if to say, hey, He's trying to do this only because we're going to have an impeachment trial if I ever send the articles over to the Senate. And he's trying to distract from it. That's my guess. I don't know because what she said doesn't make any sense. Elizabeth Warren came out and said Donald Trump ripped up an Iran nuclear deal that was working. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Barry, she said that the deal was working and he repeatedly escalated tensions. An- another fallacy. And now he's assassinated a senior foreign military official. He's been marching towards war with Iran since the first days in office, but the American people won't stand for it. Um, wh- what do you what do you say about Elizabeth Warren? I mean, she made a lot of egregious statements here. Uh, I- I- is she crazy? Well, she it's not the only thing she said, Jermaine. She went on uh, CNN and said that Suleimani is a government official, a high ranking military <laughs> official. I guess in the same way. Well, Hitler did run the army and Mao did run the army and Mussolini did run the army and Stalin did run the army and all of them killed millions or had a hand in it. So when you mischaracterize an arch terrorist mastermind as a high ranking military official or in another tweet as a government official and he was only killed to distract from the impeachment trial coming up. It misleads Americans as if to say Trump is some sort of, well, international criminal. The truth is he was the worst terrorist on planet Earth. And the truth is the Iran nuclear deal caused Iran to have the money to export terror all over the world. Even John Kerry said when he was Secretary of State, when the deal was signed, yeah, they might spend some of this money on terror. Well, guess what, Secretary Kerry? They spent billions exporting terror all over the world, building long-range ballistic missiles, uh, never stopping their nuclear program. They have now withdrawn from the deal altogether, and they're enhancing uranium as fast as they can. Remember, a year ago and two years ago, the Israelis got all kinds of evidence out of Iran proving that Iran had a full weapons program going and it never stopped during the entire length of the JCPOA, commonly known as the Iran nuclear deal. In other words, we gave them 150 billion, then we gave another 100, what, 1.5 billion in dollars on pallets, unmarked in planes, flown out in the middle of the night without any approval of Congress. And they took the money and they spent it on terror. And Trump is trying to clean that up. Statements like this from Warren and from Sanders are completely, and I mean this, stupid. They don't have any basis in fact. They're political statements by people trying to get votes.